This video is an excerpt from The Passive Income Show, presented live every week. To learn more about The Passive Income Show, just go to the description box below this video. Now, Sir John said, I'm a writer, so I'll do several courses on helping aspiring writers get published. I also know social media very well, and I will teach courses on how to use social sites. And finally, I know Adobe very well, and we'll teach on it as well. So those are all great topics, in my opinion. Do you see any that are better than others there, Phil? Um, no, I mean, I know that people have had success with writing courses. Um, yeah, no, I don't know if there's one that sticks out to me, but definitely becoming like the expert in one of those areas is kind of what I would try to do rather than spreading yourself too thin right now just so that you can cross promote your courses or... If you are teaching a writing course, teach something that has to do with social media for writers. And I know, John, that you have a huge Twitter following. I, th I think you've mentioned that in the past. And so doing a course specifically for writers is what I would do. There's, there, there's already courses about how to be good at Facebook, how to do Twitter good well. Um, and while that might be a good course to, to create uh, also... Um, it might work better if you're focusing all your your courses on kind of one target audience. At the same time, though, there's the flip and side another... where you want to just create courses that are have mass appeal. So it's a balance. Yeah, one another idea to I, I agree with what Phil said, and another way to approach it possibly is take a look at the area where you have the most. Uh, knowledge or bandwidth where you can create maybe two or three or four courses on that topic and then maybe uh, prioritize your courses your topics because I'm looking at your topics I see writer uh, social media Adobe um, and helping writers get published maybe think of think of it in this way think of it as a a way to launch the most broad appeal course first and then the ones that relate to that broad appeal next, and then the and then how you can relate your social media course to that broad appeal course again, so that as you're building up your course portfolio, you're able to logically give your students the next logical step. Here's the next logical step for those of you who took my how to get published course. Here's the next logical step for those of you who took that and so on and just move them up the ladder. That's another way to, to approach it. Thanks for joining me on this video. This video was actually an excerpt from The Passive Income Show, which is a live show that we do every week. You'll get details about The Passive Income Show down below in the description box. You'll also get links to specific courses and discounted links that you can only get here on YouTube. So as always, we would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because we're gonna be uploading tons of valuable content valuable video to help you make a passive income online. How? By teaching what you know through your skills, your experience, and your expertise, things that you're interested in like hobbies or interests. We're going to show you how to take that information that you already know and turn it into online courses that will pay you on an ongoing basis month after month after month for just teaching what you already know. So I look forward to seeing you on another video and I look forward especially to seeing you on our live Passive Income Show.